the Joe Rogan experience. Oh, it's kind of stunning. Being spoken. When you see how little England is. Yeah. You know, that, I mean, it makes sense what you're talking about with pirates. That like they had to be the most horrific monsters <laughs> to, to try to control the empire. Well, it's also insane. By the way, so I did this special in um, Spain. So I, 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 and I love history. So, do you know what year they finally unified Spain, where they got rid of the Moors, and they finally, the Castilians, kind of pieced together what we consider modern day Spain? Do you know what year they did that? No, 1492. No. Oh. The year that Columbus. So they literally finally kicked the Moors out. By the way, we're really, <laughs> they were really not nice. <laughs> the Moors are evil people. Well, no, no. They were not nice to the Moors or the Jews. Uh, like they got. That was, the, the Moors, though, they were conquerors themselves. They too, were conquerors. Right? But yeah. like they. But everybody was back but then. But like right? the. the I mean, uh, I performed in Morocco. It's like amazing to think that, like, you know, we we think of the colonizers as these Europeans, but the Arabs were colonizers too. Mm-hmm. They sure. colonized Morocco. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's the Berbers, in I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. That so the Moroccans that were in Spain were part of, you know, when Muhammad and all these guys rose up, the great Arab power was they took over and they got all all the way into Spain and stuff like that. But it's insane to think that, I mean, this was a joke that I had when I went to Spain. Like Spain took all the gold, all the gold from Central and South America, all of it. So like... There wasn't really that much gold in North America. There was gold in Central and South America, and the Spain took it all, and they spent it. And so one of my jokes when I was in Spain, I'm like, where's the gold? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, like they literally, like one of the things they did is they built a navy, and they got their ass kicked by the British. You know, so it's it's really fascinating to see what, how quick these empires come and how quick they disappear. Yeah, and that's the strange thing about where we are today is that we want to think that the United States is going to be around forever and that, you know, the power and influence we enjoy over the rest of the world will continue this way and there's no way we'd ever live under the thumb of a ruthless dictator like they did, you know, back in the day in this part of the world or that part of the world. Like That's been the standard way that human beings have governed Forever. Yeah, the Romans were like, we're good. No yeah. one's going to take over. Yeah. yeah, come on, we got it. Yeah. The Greeks, the same way. I mean, they started with democracy. Yeah. Right? And it all fucking fell apart. I mean, the Romans were like so confident. They're like, you know, Constantine's like, you know what? I don't even want to do Rome anymore. Let's go over to what's present day Istanbul. Like, he switched the capital of Rome. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like if a president was like, you know what? I think our capital should now be in, uh, let's now put it in Vancouver. Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like in a different country. Right. It's this wild. Roman Empire, it was named after a city, Rome, and he moved it to, a, you know, essentially Asia. <laughs> it's like insane. Why did he go there? I think that that, a I think that, I think that was, that was modern. Maybe. Really? I don't know. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I, Dan Carlin would know. Yeah, he'd be the guy to ask. How does that guy know so much? He's just consuming books. Yeah, well, he works so hard on his show. To call his show a podcast and to call this a podcast is really kind of hilarious. Because this is like, we did zero preparation. I haven't seen you in two years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We talk like through text messages yeah. only. And then all of a sudden we're sitting there talking. We have no idea what we're going to talk about. And we've no. been talking for hours. Yeah. Dan Carlin, when he does a two-hour podcast, he will research that for months, months and months. Like, well, he'll do a thing like The Wrath of the Khan, which is a spectacular yeah. five-piece series on Genghis Khan. When he did that, it took like six months to prepare. Wow. Yeah. And then he puts them out, and you can get them for a dollar. They cost a dollar each. 
and it is like literally some of the most spectacular historical entertainment you'll ever get in your yeah, life. It's, it's educational. There's, there's an enthusiasm to yeah. how he does it. Too. He's amazing. He's an amazing, and he's so humble too. He always says he's not a historian. Like, bitch, you're a fucking. Yeah, he historian. always says that. Yeah, too. Stop saying that. <laughs> he's. Have you met him? I haven't met him. He's a great guy too. He's been on the podcast a couple times. And so, what is so the length of his podcasts are astronomical yes. too. Yeah, they're like four hours. Poor, part yeah. one. Yeah. Of Caesar conquers the world. And you're like, what? <laughs> he's I like, know. let me quote from this book. Yeah. That I read, I'm like, dude, I have how do you, like reading this dense information. He goes, Sophocles wrote this thing, and you're like, how do you know that? Yeah, he and he covers so many different topics. He had a great piece on Martin Luther and the invention of Lutherism, and um, the uh, time in history where making a version of the Bible that was uh, phonetically readable that people could understand like a phonetic interpretation of the bible where you could say the word like that didn't exist like they wow. they all read the bible in latin and if you don't yeah. understand latin you were most people didn't read right you yeah. were at the whim of the priests and martin luther came along and said actually what god said like you should be, probably interpret it yourself and not leave it to these people yeah. and, and like they came real close to killing him a few times for that it is amazing how consistently uh, the messages and the teachings of Jesus are like like humans can't grasp it. Like they're like way off. Like oh, we're supposed to take care of the poor. We're supposed to help the needy. We're supposed to do all this. And people are like, does that mean I should get another car? Like we don't. <laughs> we don't even come close. I'm gonna get a Jesus tattoo. <laughs> do, you, do you? I mean, like we don't. Yeah. And I'm talking about people that, uh, you know, embrace the Christian faith. Yes. Like, get it wrong. I'm not talking about people like, I don't believe in that stuff. Right. People who proclaim to be Christian. Again, humans are pretty dumb. 